Hello everyone, my name is Ben and I tweak computers and today I am going to be going through a full computer optimization for Fortnite and really any game out there. If your mouse and movements feel sluggish or slow and you feel delay when you move your mouse, or you get frequent FPS drops when you get in a fight or just when you play the game, this guide is for you. Before you do any tweaks, make sure you make a restore point in your windows. Now with that being said, we can get onto the basics. So for the basic Windows tweaks, we will only be doing a few things. So for the start, you just want to press Windows R and type in devmgmt.msc. And then from here, you can maximize it. You could full screen it and then go to view, show hidden devices. And from here, you will see every device that your computer has. What I want you to do is find devices that you no longer use or need. For example, I have SteelSeries Sonar virtual audio device. I do not need this. I will disable this. From there, you can just rinse and repeat however much you need to. Next, for our next tweak, we can close out of dev management and we can go to Windows R once again, reg edit and then enter. And from reg edit, you want to go to this address. It's local machine system current control set control and it should look like this. And from here, what you want to do is go to SVC split threshold in kilobytes, and you just want to set this to your RAM size. I'll put the chart up on the screen right now, but if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, all you need to do is type 1 million in hexadecimal, press enter and restart. So that covers our very basic tweaks. This should help your performance just a little bit and lower your processes just a little bit as well. Next, we can talk about NVIDIA and graphics card tweaks. For our NVIDIA tweaks, we will mainly be focusing on NV Cleanstall. You, what you want to do is open this program, wait for it to load, it'll take a second. Manually select driver version. You can just select the most recent one, desktop DCH. So for now it is 565.9 and it is desktop DCH. Next. So if you want to have the best performance, you can press minimum, but that does come at a trade-off of not being able to clip using NVIDIA Shadow Play. Now we can press next, just wait for it to install. Now, once it has finally downloaded, what you want to do is disable installer telemetry and advertising, perform a clean installation, disable multi-plane overlay, disable Ansel and show expert tweaks. From here, we can disable driver telemetry, we can disable HD audio device sleep timer. We can enable message signal interrupts, disable HDCP. And you want to use this method compatible with easy anti-cheat or else you will not be able to play Fortnite. From here, you want to press next, wait for it to load. And then once it loads, all you want to do is just press install and let the installation go by itself. Once your driver has installed, what you want to do is right click your desktop NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview in the top left. Make sure you are on use the advanced 3D image settings. Now go to manage 3D settings and copy all of these settings. You can definitely play around with shader cache size and you could also play around with background application max frame rate. If you have an AMD Radeon GPU, all you want to do is just turn down all of your graphics settings in your control panel and turn on all the performance features. Now that we are done with some FPS tweaks, we can go on to our internet and network tweaks for better ping. For our network tweaks, all we want to do is go to Windows R, Control. And then from here, we can go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, and then click on your internet adapter. From here, we can go to properties, make sure all of these except IPv4 and QoS packet scheduler are off. Once you have done that, go to configure, advanced, and then copy these settings. Energy efficient ethernet should be off, flow control should be off, interrupt moderation should be off, receive buffers should be hypothetically as low as they can be without stuttering. So for my, for me specifically, I would put these to 5112 and where is the other one? I would put this one to 5112 as well. And then we can do speed and duplex, put that to full duplex and then press. Okay. Your internet will go out for just a minute and then it will come back. 
And now for our final tweak, we can go on to Chris Titus Tech Utility and debloat our system a little bit. So for our last tweak, all you want to do is open Chris Titus Tech Utility, which you can just search that up, it's easy enough. Run that with PowerShell and copy these tweaks. All of these. And then you could scroll to the bottom, run tweaks, and your computer should be fully optimized. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want more in-depth and advanced tweaks to help your computer even further, make sure to join my Discord and book a service with me personally. If you want more tweaks and videos just like this, make sure to subscribe. Thank you.